welcome to an Ohio Sports and Special, the Ohio University football spring game preview. Uh, Shane, this is a team last year that played well for most of the season but faltered down the stretch. Uh, some key losses in the offensive line. Uh, Jared McCray, Darrell Wood, Jake Preeze all played time. Uh, but even bigger losses in the linebacking core and Quinton Poling and Chad Moore. I mean, those guys were some of the best linebackers to ever play here at Ohio University, particularly Quinton Poling, who uh, defensive coordinator Jimmy Burris has called the quarterback of the defense, really one of the smartest uh, players in, in the MAC, uh, maybe in college football. Uh, he's even expected to get some looks in the later rounds of the NFL draft. But leaving... Evan Crouch in the linebacker core, he's a guy who got some playing time last year, certainly going to have to take a big step up. So I think when it comes to specific position groups, uh, the offensive line and linebackers are uh, two position groups I want to have my eye on this weekend if I'm heading down there to Peden for the spring game. Yeah, you talk about what Evan Crouch was able to do last year. He filled in nicely in the back half of the season uh, when guys like Chad Moore, when guys like Quentin Pulling needed a rest uh, or were out of the lineup with injury. I think Evan Crouch, uh, with a couple of interceptions and a few sacks yeah. on, in his resume, is going to take a big step forward this year. A really uh, Chad Moore-esque linebacker, a guy uh, that kind of came out of the woodworks, didn't really – uh, expect much from him and he was able uh, to be dynamic he was able to make plays on the field uh, and he's going to be counted on uh, to really help solidify this Bobcat defense a defense last year uh, that did pretty well in route to nine wins and route to a Bahama Bowl victory obviously the offense uh, was the key uh, for Ohio success but at the end of the day too uh, you know certainly uh, going to be a couple guys uh, that the Bobcats are going to have to replace guys like Leon Alwesi as well on the defensive line uh, are going to be hard to turn over from but uh, you talk about guys they're bringing in this year uh, and he is out with injury for this spring game we'll see how he progresses not exactly sure uh, you know what the timetable is uh, for Zach Burks but a guy that they just brought in Zach Burks, a 6'3", 280-pound defensive tackle, three-star commit out of Coffeyville, Kansas, uh, a guy that was ranked 30th at his position. A, a nice pickup for Frank Solich and the Bobcats, uh, going to be counted on early if he, stay, if he could be in the lineup uh, to really plug those holes, uh, to keep running backs from even getting into the secondary, uh, where Evan Crouch and uh, guys like Javon Hagan uh, may be able to make plays on them. But... Another guy they brought in to Jeremiah Woods at the cornerback position, uh, 6'1", 195 pounder out of Pickerington High School in Ohio, just down the road, 169th at his position, uh, maybe overlooked. We'll see what he can provide in the secondary. But yeah, certainly at the offensive line, uh, you know, in front of Nathan Rourke, in front of guys like AJ Olet, uh, guys like uh, Julian Ross, going to need uh, to pick up the slack from the guys that are leaving. Yeah, and you mentioned uh, you know Julian Ross as a skill position there. He was able to do some good things. But I want to talk about this wide receiving core, who was uh, definitely one of the weaknesses of Ohio University last year. They brought in a number of guys, uh, like you mentioned there. But two guys I want to highlight uh, in the receiving aspect of things here. Willie Cherry, who got a red shirt last year, big-time prospect uh, from Wichita Falls, Texas, had that great catch in spring ball can't last year. That. Yeah, that I mean, insane. you can't forget that. And the guy who Ohio lost uh, last year before the season even started was Elijah Ball, and they expected Elijah Ball to come in and do some big things. And I think, you know, Poppy White, uh, they asked a lot out of him last year. They always do, and they should. He's a great player. But uh, it's hard to send your, your slot guy, uh, you know, on constant streaks when you need that big play. So I think, you know, we'll see how much Willie Cherry factors in. But certainly I think, you know, your Elijah Balls, we'll see if D.L. Knock uh, gets any time out there. Your Andrew Myers of the world uh, are poised for some big years, and I think they will have big years as Nathan Rourke's throwing ability continues to progress. Yeah, and you talk about a guy like Andrew Meyer. I think uh, more so than a guy like Ball, even maybe more so than a guy like Cherry, uh, uh, he is going to be a big piece to the puzzle this year for Nathan Rourke. He went to him a lot last season. Uh, you talk about that slot receiver position, a guy that uh, does – Everything in the middle of the field, those slant routes, uh, you know, those short catch and grabs uh, where you go and you try to get a couple yards out in the open. Uh, Andrew Meyer certainly fits the billing for all of those categories. Another guy to look out for, I don't know if he'll receive a lot of playing time this year, but uh, certainly somebody to watch in this spring game. Shane Hooks, the receiver that they brought in, a three-star 
recruit as well from Olympia High School in Orlando, Florida. 6'5", 190, that kind of size is going to play for this team, uh, and especially in the MAC where you don't really traditionally see a lot of uh, you know tree branches out there at wide receiver position. Uh, I don't know if he's seasoned enough to really make an impact, but uh, sort of fits the bill as that deep threat, as that end zone piece. Uh, and I think a guy like Willie Cherry as well, like you mentioned, uh, will probably get a couple looks on the outside there with the deep ball. So Nathan Rourke, you know, can't say enough about the kid last yeah. year. Uh, great completion percentage, over 2,000 yards. Uh, through the air, over 900 on the ground, accounted for 39 touchdowns. Uh, you know, it really does begin and end with Rourke. The pieces that you put around him play a factor, but I think are sort of interchangeable when you have a quarterback that is as dynamic as him. So, uh, really, if he can stay healthy, uh, if he can uh, avoid pressure, and he is a bit of a scrambler, but I think that, you know, with the offensive line coming in relatively fresh, relatively untested, uh, he's going to be put into a few more compromising positions this year. We'll see how he responds. We'll see how the running backs are able to pick up the slack. AJ Let back in the fold as well. Malik Irons, a guy that missed the entire season last year, uh, but had a pretty decent 2016 campaign in which he accounted for five touchdowns over 400 yards on the ground. Also going to be back in the fold for the Bobcats. So they definitely have some weapons, uh, and I think that it's going to be more of a short game than it is going to be you know, a deep ball type team. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see uh, how Malik Irons responds. Of course, he's got in some uh, off-the-field troubles last year, but certainly had some uh, great promise back in the 2016 season. Two guys I want to leave you with that are going to have big years for the Bobcats. Joey Anderson, returning starter on the offensive line, great size. Uh, would not be surprised if we were looking at an all first team Mac for Big Joe. And on the defensive side, Kasim Caesar, uh, a guy who has huge size uh, from Oklahoma. I mean, I've clashed with this guy. He's absolutely huge, great personality. Um, I think he has a lot of potential, and I think he could be finding his way into some Mac backfields of wreaking havoc. But we shall see. 50 to 60 plays this weekend. Uh, Going to be more of a scrimmage than a game, but uh, it'll be your first chance to get a look at this year's 2018 Ohio Bobcats football team. Yep, starts at noon. Get down there to Peden Stadium, and if you go to Gate 2, right around uh, you know the strike of the bell, you're going to be able to pick up some Bobcats football gear. Yeah. This annual spring sale. Always a great sale. Uh, yeah, our... Our good friend Dave uh, Holden, yeah. uh, Holden, excuse me, uh, with that sweet uh, Basham jersey that he showcased last year. Yeah. He picked that one up at the spring sale. Uh, maybe uh, there's some more gems to be found. So check that out as well, folks. It's going to be a fun weekend. Uh, the weather going to be in the 60s, partly cloudy, maybe a chance of a rain shower. But uh, I hope that that holds off and that they're able to get this one off uh, to a lot of fanfare. I'm sure they will. For Shane Days and Ethan Graham. This is Ohio Sports Center.